Welcome to Municipal Affairs. Over the last two weeks, our team has been traveling across the province of Saskatchewan in preparation for our live provincial election night special. During our journey, we connected with mayors, councillors, and other key stakeholders to understand how this election will shape the future of municipalities. And as this election continues to unfold, you will certainly need to stay informed with the Scoop Political Briefing Newsletter. It is your go-to source for daily updates on the biggest stories, party strategies, and candidate advertising. I certainly took advantage of it on our Cross Saskatchewan tour these last few weeks. So sign up for free at thescoop.ca. That's the S-K-O-O-P dot C-A. And get the essential insights delivered straight to your inbox. Today, for this special one-on-one interview, we are joined by Saskatchewan speaker, the Honorable Randy Weeks. Attention Saskatchewan. This election season, Municipal Affairs is hitting the road in partnership with SUMA for the Saskatchewan Provincial Election. Join us on election night for live coverage straight from Regina on YouTube featuring exclusive insights from municipal leaders and stakeholders across the province. We will be capturing their reaction to the results and be diving into what the new provincial government means for municipalities. Plus, this fall, we will be traveling across Saskatchewan to hear directly from local leaders about the issues that matter most to you. Plus, this fall, we will be traveling across Saskatchewan starting September 30th to hear directly from local leaders like yourself about the issues that matter most. This is your election covered like never before. Municipal Affairs, your trusted voice from the grassroots to the government. We are days into the Saskatchewan provincial election. How are you feeling about what you're seeing on the ground and what you're hearing in the news about how the campaigns are going, whether it be the Saskatchewan party or even the NDP? Well, I think the election's going to be very close. It's just going to depend on the vote split with uh, how people uh, vote, whether they vote SUP and split the vote in the rural areas and elect some uh, NDP members or elect some SUP members. So I I think in the urbans it's very much uh, NDP uh, uh, territory that's they're very popular so it's going to be very interesting election night how close this election is. It could be anything from a minority government from an NDP to a SAS party minority government or uh, or a uh, a uh, win for either party. <laughs> Locally here, we're located in Bigger as we're doing this interview. Are you hearing from residents that they're engaged in this election? Because when I'm traveling across this province, I don't see that many election signs out as I traditionally do in larger urban centers. Are more rural areas just not engaged in the election and they'll just go out and vote on election day no matter what? Oh, I think voter apathy is always an issue in in recent modern history. So that's, that's up to the... Uh, political parties to change that and get people engaged but as we get closer to election day people people do get engaged and start uh, thinking about it as far as signs and rules of Saskatchewan I, I don't take that as a, an indication of one way or the other because it's such a large constituencies we're in in the cities you can put up a lot of lawn signs in a short area so uh, yes but I think the signs will be uh, will be coming out in greater numbers very quickly um, I just want to take a moment and say thank you for doing this, but also former Saskatchewan Party MLA yourself, who has come out and endorsed the Saskatchewan NDP via tweet. Can you take me through that process of what made you just decide to fully throw your support behind the NDP this election? Well, it's been a journey, um, but uh, I don't think it's surprised many people that uh, I have endorsed the NDP. And... Uh, Yes, I, I'm just, no, no, no secret about what I've been doing publicly since uh, May uh, 16th. Then I have a lot of concerns with the leadership of uh, Scott Moe and the Saskatchewan party and, and many of the much of the behavior of many members and, and even recently the, uh, the racist incident that uh, I talked about this last week. That's a lot of uh, 
information that you've put out to the general public. Do you get a sense that people are hearing you when you're talking about whether it be bringing a gun into the legislature, whether it be the racist comments that you just talked about? Because, yet again, political observer, and I'm seeing the apathy. Do you think people are engaged in saying, oh, what Randy's talking about, we should look into it? Well, yes, I, it certainly has been picked up by, by media. Uh, in, in every case, uh, when I raise these issues, uh, ultimately uh, the members in, uh, involved, uh, 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 many of the, uh, the, the members involved admit to these things, both Jeremy Harrison's initial denial that there was guns in in the legislature, and the premier came out, and it's it's ironic, you know, Harrison basically lied to the premier, made the premier look very foolish, supporting him, and finally they came out. Yes, it's true. Then there's an argument or a discussion about how many times he brought guns in. Well, I proved that it was at least twice, and I know for sure many times he's a gun fanatic, and he. Uh, he was bringing his guns in to show off to his staff and staff members and people in the building have seen these this gun or guns, different guns around. And this issue with the use of the N-word and, uh, and the racist slur, you know, you know, the um, David Buckingham came out and, and admitted to it. So uh, it, it would be one thing if uh, they just left it off and, and didn't admit to these things, but when I bring things up, uh, it's they admit to it, and it's proven that they have done these uh, basically despicable things. Twenty-five years in office, first elected in 1999. You're leaving office now in 2024. There's a new crop, and I say new crop as in big turnover this election. What's your advice to the new incoming MLAs, whether it be the ones who have ran and our current councillors and mayors? that you wish you would have known in 1999 when you first got elected to the Saskatchewan legislature? Oh, I don't know just offhand if I have something that I would offer them. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great honor to be elected as an MLA. I mean, there's not many people get elected. Uh, but I, I think the number one thing that uh, new MLAs have to keep in mind that they represent their constituents. They have a party affiliation. There's no doubt about that. And uh, but uh, don't forget your constituent and and their wishes and uh, and serve them properly and well. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Municipal Affairs. We just want to take a moment and ask you to do one quick favor for us. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You will not want to miss the upcoming episodes around the Saskatchewan election, but also you will not want to miss our special election night special live from downtown Regina, where we will be discussing how this election will impact the municipal landscape over the next four years. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you're listening to this on audio, head over to our YouTube channel, Cross Border Interviews or Cross Border Networks, and subscribe today. And if you haven't already, be sure to head over to the scoop.ca and get that insightful newsletter delivered directly to you every weekday directly to your inbox. I use it as a resource when I was traveling across the province of Saskatchewan, and it is a resource that you surely will want to have. And your support has been wonderful over the last few weeks and over the last few months and even last few years. So we truly appreciate you taking time and watching and listening to all these great episodes and great interviews that we've been putting out. So stay connected, stay informed, and we'll see you next time here on Municipal Affairs.